y'all and welcome to Skyrim Scripting. This is my channel where I focus on teaching prospective and existing mod authors how to write scripts in Skyrim mods that do fun things. Maybe you could make a follower follow you uh, or you could make them explode. Whatever you want to do is up to you. That's why I love scripting so, so much. It's really empowering. There are a ton of different video tutorial screencast series out there. Um, both on YouTube and Twitch that you should absolutely watch that teach you how to make Skyrim mods. Now, I'm not very good at the graphics and all of that stuff. I'm still learning. In fact, I'm still learning how to make mods at all. But I'm coming to the Skyrim modding community with over 15 years of professional software programming experience and I love the Skyrim scripts. They're so, so, so much fun. So I figured I would introduce myself uh, this is my pseudonym, Mrauper, a number of reasons why I've got it, including my Devious episode series and um, not trusting the gaming community. Um, so what do I want to do? I've got some questions and answers. I'm going to go through a couple of them. Feel free to bail now and just hop on over. Go to one of the YouTube playlists, go to skyrimscripting.com or whatever the long link is to my YouTube. I might have youtube.com slash like skyrimscripting by now. I don't know. So um, I have a lot of these leather jackets. It's the same leather jacket and I have about five or six of them. I have about uh, 20 or like 30 of this shirt in white and a few in black. Uh, this is a, uh, a feather. I like it. It makes me think that I will feather fall if I fall off of something because I'm afraid of heights. Um, what did I wrote down? Why am I just joining the community now after like 10 years of modding? That is the second thing that Dark Fox said when he watched my, that's Dark Fox 127, when he watched my episodes for the first time, the first thing he said was, ew, Firefox, whatever, I like Firefox. And the second thing was, where'd she come from after all this time? Well, I lost my job during COVID and I did one of the most dangerous things that anyone can do. I decided to start playing Skyrim uh, for the first time in a long time and it's very dangerous as y'all know because it is quite a time sink. And then I got into modding, which as you know is super addicting. I had like my over 255 mods. I was really um, passionate about which of my mods fit in my 255 list. That's before I learned how to ESLify things. And now I try and release all my mods as ESLs. So, um, yeah, I lost my job, I started playing Skyrim, I got into mods, and then there was one mod that, like, was really frustrating me. I had these two mods that didn't work well together. One of them gives you, like, a map, and, uh, like, an actual map in your inventory, and you can't open up your, um, the map if you don't actually have a map. And you can buy them at stores and things like that. You might be able to make them. I don't think so. I think you have to buy them in a store. How could you make a map of Skyrim? Um, and then I had this other mod that kept taking away all my shit. It just kept, kept taking all my inventory items and it kept taking my map. And I wanted to write a script that would make it so that this second mod wouldn't keep stealing my freaking map. So I wrote some code and one thing led to another. And here I am. I had a little bit more time off before starting a new job and I made a YouTube channel. It's called Skyrim Scripting. So yeah, what else do I want to do? Why do I have a Devious series? Uh, well, some of those first mods that I got into are not on Nexus and I want to give back to the Lover's Lab community if I can. So at some point I hope to get some mods done that I'm working on in that series. By now, maybe I've gotten them done. I want to get my collar mod done in particular. So uh, let's see, the pseudonym, what kind of dog do I have? Her name is Parker. She's a long-haired dachshund slash Pomeranian, I think. I don't know. She's a rescue and she's a little bit camera shy, but I pull her into the episode every once in a while. Sometimes you'll just see like a dog butt, just like somewhere here on the green screen. And uh, that's her. She's walking around. Um, why isn't my setup that I use in my screencast modded? Well, I don't install any mods for my my uh, like actual mod authoring setup. I keep my profiles completely separate, 
from my playing setup, which has tons of mods, although I don't play a lot anymore, and my authoring setup. So when I write a Skyrim mod, I try to only have that mod installed in whatever its dependencies are. So if it relies on the unofficial patch, then I'll just have my mod and that installed or something like that. So that's why my setup is never modded. Um, somebody asked if I'm tall. I don't know. Apparently I look tall in my green screen setup. I don't know why I'm not very tall. Um, my hobbies. I play D&D &D on Saturdays. Um, I might Twitch before that on Saturdays. Currently I'm Twitch streaming on Sundays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern every Sunday and I think I'm going to keep doing that. So by the time you watch this series, I'm probably still doing that. I might Twitch Saturday United States mornings, except Dark Fox currently does around the same time. I could stream before he does so that, you know, folks join both. Um, maybe I'll have a decent amount of Twitch viewers by then. I love people who show up to my Twitch. It's so much fun. Uh, what is my setup? Okay. People love setup stuff. So my text editor is Visual Studio Code. I'm using that instead of Sublime Edit because Visual Studio Code has a Papyrus Log Viewer and Debugger built into it. And I think it has better auto completion, which shows descriptions from functions and um, will just like load up all of your different Papyrus scripts and you can manage it. And it uses this tool called Pyro underneath the hood, which is what Fallout 4 folks use. Um, it, it uses project files, which are like the Fallout 4 folks ones. Um, the camera is a Brio. Uh, I don't have a real green screen. This is XSplit. So whenever this messes up, like right here, it's messing up a little bit. That's XSplit. It's not me. Don't blame me. I'm using OBS because everyone uses OBS and it's lovely and amazing. Um, I'm using a pre-built PC and it's just a Dell. I'm sorry. I'm not obsessed with hardware. It's just a Dell Corsair 1. It's got an RTX 2080 Ti in it. Um, my audio, I use a pair of Hypercardioid uh, Audio-Technica AT4053Bs. Uh, they're on little kind of boom stands, if you will. One of them is right here. You can see it right there, but it gets green screened out. Um, so it's an audio, a stereo pair of those. So I think that's everything I wrote down. Um, I just want to help folks who are either existing mod authors who haven't really gotten deep into the scripting side of things, which is tons of script auth uh, mod authors, and just folks who are coming to like Skyrim mod authoring for the first time. I just want to make the scripting aspects of it not scary. That's my goal. So I hope I'm doing that for some folks. I want to make it so that if you've never written a line of code in your life, you can follow along with some of my series. Right now I've got one that I think focuses on that called Beginner Basics and another one that's like a 12 episode just intro to Skyrim modding. But I like my Beginner Basics series right now that just kind of gets you up and running with all the concepts so that you can write really, really cool Skyrim mods that do a lot of cool scripting stuff because scripts aren't bad and if you've heard that then you're misinformed. There are certain types of scripts which are bad. So yeah, I think that's all I've got. I thank you. Um, thank you. I hope you enjoy the channel. Leave comments. Uh, leave likes, I guess. Subscribe if you want to. I don't care. I guess I would like to like you to so that you can know when my episodes come out. But uh, leave comments. That's my favorite. Tell me what other types of episodes you want to see. Some of the episodes do cater a little bit more towards folks with more scripting experience or programming experience. I try and make them as accessible for everyone as I possibly, 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 possibly can. And uh, yeah, should I say the words? Let me get my dogs, my dog before I say the words. She was a little shy, but I got her uh, in her dog bed. So uh, this is my puppy. And from both of us to you, happy modding, everyone. All right. Happy modding.